Hello, everyone. I'm News 6 anchor Ginger Gadsden. Every once in a while, we love bringing you stories about people who are from Central Florida who do amazing things out in the world. And sometimes they do them in Central Florida and sometimes they do them in other places. So I'm so happy to have the opportunity to speak with Shauna Mann, who is from Central Florida, Deltona to be exact. Shauna, I'm so happy to see you. You are doing wonderful things out in the real world. First, before I tell people about this ginormous award that you are a part of bringing home, right, or winning, I want to tell people that you are from Deltona. You're a 2019 graduate of Deltona High School. That makes you a, a whopping 22 years old. <laughs> and you've already accomplished so many things. Tell me a little bit about your time at Deltona because you were very active. Yes, thank you. Thanks, Ginger, for having me. Um, at Deltona High School, I was very active in my four years, varsity soccer for four years, senior and junior class president, choir co-president, um, and interna International Thespian Society, just to kind of wrap a nice bow on everything <laughs> yeah. I did there. Yeah, yeah, okay. And so you recently graduated from Lipscomb University, which is in Nashville, right? Yes. And so you are, you're majoring in journalism and new media. And I find it so incredible that one of the first projects right out of the gate wins a Murrow Award. There are people who work their entire career, Shauna, I don't know if you know this, but they work their entire careers to get a prestigious award such as the Murrow. And you worked with a few other people at Lipscomb University, and it is about a guitar-shaped scoreboard for a AAA baseball team. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. So. We made this documentary kind of featuring the Nashville Sounds, a minor league baseball team, and how their guitar-shaped scoreboard kind of just shaped the culture of the baseball team and just Nashville at large, and just diving into the history of that and just putting it out there in the world. Yeah, so when you do something like this, when someone first says, oh my gosh, okay, we're, what story can we tell that'll captivate people? And I know you're in a place that loves music and music is everything there. Uh, but what in the world made this sign so iconic and something that you guys thought would make a, a great documentary? This sign just, it's basically a nod to Nashville being Music City. You know, the guitar-shaped scoreboard kind of just honors the culture of music, not just country, but all different types of music in Nashville. So kind of just bringing that into the baseball culture is just something that makes Nashville just what it is, just more Nashville. Yeah, and so when I was uh, watching the documentary, I watched it a couple of times. It's so well done. I love that it doesn't have one particular narrator because there are different voices to tell different parts of the story, which I think is really creative. But when you're talking about people like Conway Twitty, and here you are 22 years old, <laughs> and how much research did you have to do to figure out, okay, I need to know who these players are uh, as far as the people who helped bring the sign to, uh, to be? Definitely. There was a lot of research involved, a lot of pre-production in this process, you know, not being originally from Nashville, there were a lot of folks that I wasn't very aware of, such as Conway Twitty and all sorts of other <laughs> Nashville talking heads and such, but it was really awesome just being able to dive into that because it makes you feel like you're a part of the story, like you're being more educated about it and being more well informed to share it with other people. So you you find out and you discover more than you maybe sought out to in the beginning. Yeah, what uh, to you, were there parts that were, it's like, okay, I, I have to get over this hurdle, what's so difficult, it's really difficult about this, or was the process, okay, layer after layer, you learn this and then there's, it leads you down another rabbit hole and then that leads you somewhere else. What was the process like? The process was definitely like a collage of just sticking <laughs> different pieces together to make that final image that, you know, something that is visible and makes sense, you know? So being able to find these aspects of old and new Nashville history and just how you lace that together into a cohesive story 
was definitely the most challenging, but just life-giving part of the process. And being able to do that with three other students and Demetria Kaladimos guiding us, we just really were able to put together something that was so special. Where, when did you learn that it had won a prestigious Morrow Award and what was your reaction? Wow, so <laughs> I learned just two weeks ago on the 15th, the um, RTDNA announced all of the Murrow winners and student Murrow winners. I was on a Zoom call for work actually, and I got a text message from Demetria Kaladimo saying, guys, we just won a Murrow award. And I'm trying to stay calm during the Zoom meeting for work, but I'm looking down at my phone, just, <laughs> just elated, ecstatic about all of the news. So it was just started off as a normal day, but ended up being a Murrow winner uh, <laughs> midday at work. So it was, it was just a huge honor, huge yeah. honor. That had to be a fantastic day. You probably were walking on air the rest of the day. When you start your career, and this is one of the first things that you are awarded, where do you go from here? Because you've set the bar really, really high. Not that that, that was the intention, but you know, a lot of people, they start with, okay, I want a, a, an Associated Press Award. Now I'm gonna go for an Emmy. And then at some point after you've had a long, illustrious career, you go, you know, maybe a Morrow is somewhere in the future. What do you think you're going to try and do next? Next, I just want to dive into the next story. I want to dive back more into documentary. I'm really grateful and blessed to be working with multimedia communications, but now getting this Murrow Award win, it's kind of just lit a fire in me to just keep going and pushing more, you know, documentary stories out there. So that's what I'm looking forward to stepping into next. And what do you tell young people? Because you are one of the young people. You had to work really hard to, to get to where you are right now, obviously. But there are some young people who feel discouraged and feel like they don't have a voice in the world. And a lot of people discount them or dismiss them because they are 22 years old. What do you say to young people who have bright ideas, who really have things they can contribute, but feel as if they are not heard? Well, my, my best piece of advice would just be to bet on yourself because there's no limit to what you're able to do and say yes to things that you might not even see being a huge honor down the road you know when we started off this project i was like yes we're gonna make an awesome project and it's gonna you know gonna get some eyes at school but now it's it's nationwide with this murrow so say yes to small opportunities because it's gonna lead you to the next bigger one Oh, at some point or the other. That's such great advice. And, and watching uh, this documentary, uh, Shauna, I loved that there's so many different generations telling this story. What was your favorite thing to learn? Because all of the videos, so you've got the video that's in the bla that's black and white. It's, there's some newspaper copy thrown in there. There's some old video. You, you really have some really great visuals to tell this story. Yes, definitely. The visuals just, they, they make the story, you know, and I really just enjoyed being able to be a historian in a way and kind of an archaeologist almost in a way, kind of going through these archives of finding all sorts of different pieces of history that kind of wrap people into what the time period was like, what was the energy like, and that was just a huge, huge awesome part of being able to kind of wrap in, like I mentioned, the old and the new history into the Nashville sounds. Yeah, and have you heard from your uh, former teachers at Deltona High School? I haven't been able to hear from any of them yet about this. Um, <laughs> oh, you this will. Win. You <laughs> <laughs> I bet you will. I, you know, we talk about teachers all the time. Is there one particular teacher at Deltona who helped you really shape your your future going into college and then doing what you're doing now definitely my my former choir director miss amanda james she just recently left deltona high school but she really just through choir it was not only just about being confident to sing but just being confident stepping into life and your opportunities and she really just inspired a lot of just encouragement and confidence into what i'm doing now today 
Oh, that's so nice. That's wonderful. And I'm glad that you had her there for you because some students never get that and they just kind of have to make their own way. Last thing I will ask you, I'm one of those nerds. I stay until the end of the movie because I love to watch credits because it always just amazes me that there's so many people involved in putting this thing together. So when you saw the finished product and then the credits mm -hmm. roll and I think you're in the credits twice and I love that they used a picture of you as a child as a kid <laughs> when you see your name like that what does that feel like Shauna wow just that feeling of seeing your name pop up on a large screen it just makes you feel like you've made it you know you've made it to that point and having your name just being something that someone else sees, it just makes you want to kind of continue into that honor of it and kind of just follow through and what the next thing is going to be that I'm going to be able to create as an artist. So it's just a huge honor. It feels surreal. Um, and it's just an amazing feeling. Well, I hope you continue to feel that way for a very long time to come. I can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you for representing Central Florida and Deltona the way you have and making us all just so proud and feel so very blessed that you are a part of our community, even though you live in Nashville right now. But at some point, I think you're going to come home. Shauna Mann, thank you so much. Thank you, Ginger.